Hello, today we will start with NEET 2018 preparation. Before starting that and understanding or comparing the previous year's papers and doing an analysis for that, let's look into the type of questions that are asked and a kind of basic framework that you need to remember for your NEET preparation. So under NEET, you would have 180 questions that would be given and the time limit here would be 180 minutes. Now in this 180 minutes, you would have to solve 180 questions. So you would have approximately one minute per question. Now this one minute per question is too much for biology, but definitely when it comes to chemistry or physics, this might sound less. Again, you must save 15 minutes towards the end to fill your OMR sheet and you should not run out of time for that. Now coming on to the important things and understanding of the paper here, what is important is to cover what is important is to cover the various questions mainly from the NCRT section. So NCRT covers around 80 to 85 percent of your questions. So 80 to 85 percent would be covered if you are talking about NCRT and this would help you solve most of the conceptual questions. Now when we talk about the questions that are asked for your NEET examination uh, from the class 12th and class 12th sections, if you look onto the statistics from the past paper you would get to know that chemistry and physics most of the questions came from class 12th so for chemistry and physics you have class 12th that is very very important however for the biology section you have uh, the class 11 that is given more weightage and within biology again you would have the botany section which would have more weightage as compared to the zoology section. So make sure you are good at your biology section and again you are thorough with your class 11th biology. So while in 11th, prepare the topics of 11th thoroughly, work around all those topics, solve MCQs related to those topics and then when you are in your 12th standard, do the same for the 12th and finally towards the last one and a half month that is left for your NEET 2018 start solving uh, or start preparing one chapter every day and solve the MCQs on those chapters. So as we said, NCRT forms the very basis for all the material that's given here. Now besides NCRT, what we recommend is solving the past papers. Now what would help you while solving the past papers? So you would be able to test two important things here. The first is the speed and the second is the efficiency. So speed definitely won't be a problem for the section on biology as most of the questions are direct. However, you require a speed specifically for physics and the way of solving the questions in physics here where you have MCQ questions would be much different from your board because in board you would be coming on to the exact answer. However, here you would be coming on to an approximate answer and even with approximation you can land out to a correct choice. So all those become very very important. Now when it comes to efficiency, this efficiency can be enhanced only by practice. So practice as much as you can both objective questions as well as subjective questions and while you are practicing you would have a greater understanding of the major concepts there. Now the next is for 2016 you had NEET in two phases, the phase 1 and the phase 2. However, if you look onto the pattern, it remains more or less the same. More weightage was given to botany section as compared to zoology and again for 11th you had more weightage for biology and for 12th you had more weightage for physics and chemistry. So that has been a general analysis over the year. If we talk about the level of difficulty and we try to score it on a scale of 1 to 3, 3 being the most difficult and 1 being the least difficult, we have the following results that come up here. Now under this result we can understand for 2017 the difficulty level for biology both zoology and uh, botany was difficult. However, for physics chemistry, the paper was relatively easier. Now, one of the interesting findings is for 2007, interestingly, nearly 32 questions from the 45 questions that come from the chemistry section were very easy. So chemistry have 45 questions, physics has 45 questions and zoology and botany together form 90 questions from biology in your NEAT examination. So this time for 2017 chemistry was exceptionally easy. Many of you have heard uh, must have heard your seniors or your uh, uh, professors telling that prepare well with biology and if you are done good with biology and you score around 
82 out of 90, you are sure to get a good admission, even if you do an average score in physics and chemistry, but that's not the case. Here, out of the 32 questions, which are very easy, if you are able to solve at least 25 questions uh, from this easy section of 32, you are sure to score very good. So, have your targets for around 600 plus. Every question has a 4 marks weightage and negative 1 mark or a negative marking of 1 would be given for each incorrect answer that has been marked. Now, we have the breakup for 2016-15 as well. And again, we have seen the level of difficulty for chemistry over the years has been easy. The same was repeatedly seen in 2015. So over the years, we have constantly seen that chemistry has been easy. So if you have been preparing chemistry nicely, that would be very uh, easier and very scoring for you. Now we'll come on to a very important section that is topic wise breakup. So when you are left with last few days and you are looking for a kind of selective study, here are some of the topics that you should not miss. So for physics, you would have electrostatics that are very, very important and you would have uh, mechanics which would have around 13 questions that are asked for 2017. So mechanics, electrostatics become very, very important section. So do not miss either of these sections. Towards the end, focus and practice on these topics thoroughly. Now when it comes to chemistry, you would have a very high focus on the organic chemistry section and the physical chemistry section. So those two are the sections that you need to practice thoroughly. Organic again is very scoring because most of the questions in organic chemistry that are asked for NEET are very direct. So if you are done or if you are thorough with your organic basics or fundamentals, that's more than enough for your chemistry. Coming on to uh, the botany and zoology section, under botany you would have two topics that are very important. First is the plant kingdom and the second is molecular basis for inheritance along with the sections of uh, the biotechnology and its application in botany. So molecular basis of inheritance that's a section on genetics and plant kingdom forms the basis for your botany. Those are very, very important sections, specifically the plant kingdom. There is lots and lots to learn and remember. So make sure you cover that towards the end and you have a good revision on that section. When it comes to zoology, you have an exceptionally uh, high focus on the physiology section. So there are around 16 questions out of the total uh, 40 questions that are usually asked from the zoology section. So out of this 40 questions, if you have 16 questions from physiology, that ways you can understand how much focus is given to the section on physiology. So if you are covering your human physiology carefully, it seems to be a very scoring avenue. Now again, some of the recent trends that we have been seeing for your NEET examination. For your NEET examination, uh, recently there has been a trend of asking contemporary questions on certain topics. So certain topics would have a kind of direct question that has been in news or some of the recent researches and developments that have come mainly in the field of biology and its application. So for example, there could be a direct indirect question on cloning. There could be a question on application of biotechnology. Uh, the biotechnology in agriculture. So all those become very, very important. So make sure you are having a kind of brief idea about these topics as well. So for further questions, you can leave those as comment below the video. Uh, we'll be definitely happy to solve all your doubts at a go. If you have any doubts, do uh, feel free to ask. Have